Adesua is a poor orphan who lives alone in her parents' compound. Her parents were so wealthy, but unfortunately, they did not leave any will for Adesua. Adesua's uncle and her aunties took everything away from her, except an old house at the outskirts of the town. Adesua stayed there alone. She worked for people and she was able to see herself through school. Her uncles and aunties did not care about her. They do not even know if she is educated or not. All they want is money they did not work for. After misusing Adesua's parents' property, they came to her at the Askesh of the town to also take the house from her or she marry a man who had interest in her. Adesua refused the marriage idea. Her aunties and uncles told her and she said no one will take her house from her. One evening, her uncles and aunties brought guns to throw her out of the house. She pleaded with them, but they refused. They told her the only way they would not take the house from her is for her to agree to marry the man of their choice because of the unnecessary pleasure. Adesua agreed to the marriage. Unfortunately, her uncle and her aunties are not marrying her off, but she is just a deal to make money for themselves. Newton, a charming young man who is wealthy, got married to Adesua and took her to his city. Newton paid so much money to Adesua's uncles and aunties for the marriage. It was not a marriage for them, but a deal to sell her off. Newton and Adesua started their marriage life Two of them have no knowledge of each other. They never had a discussion before their marriage. To get to know each other, Newton's company is into production of electric appliances. They produce in mass and sell to the wholesalers in large quantity. Newton is a definition of a successful young boy. But unfortunately, he only value money and he believed he would get whatever he wants with his money. One evening, Adesua initiated a conversation between her and Newton. Adesua said, Good evening. Please, can we get to know ourselves? Since I came here, we barely have time to talk. Neither are you at home. Newton replied, Well, that is because I am very busy. Your uncle and aunties took so much money from me to marry you. I have to recover that. Adesua said, I am so sorry about that. I was not aware. Please tell me about yourself. Let's get to know each other since we both did not talk before the marriage. Newton responded, I am Newton. You already know. I am your husband and a businessman. Adesua reply in smile, I know all this already, your likes, dislike, and many more. Newton said, I only like money and I dislike being broke. Adesua respond, This is strange. What I meant, what you do not like around you. For example, dirtiness. Newton said, Are you a detective? Adesua reply, No. But I wish to know you better. We are married and I wish to know your like and dislike. Newton said, Your uncle told me you are an illiterate, but from your many questions, you sound otherwise. Adesua replied, Seems you are not comfortable talking to me. Let's call it a day. Good night. Newton responded, Good night to you. Let's go to our room. Adesua respond, which room? Since I came here, I have been sleeping downstairs. 
You sleep upstairs. I do not even know your room or ever climb upstairs. Newton said, let's go to your room. So we carry your bags. Then we go upstairs to our room. Both of them took Adesua's bag and they both slept in Newton's room. The next morning, when Adesua woke up, she could not find Newton at home. She looked everywhere. Did he go to work very early? She asked herself. She cleaned up the house and prepared food for herself. In the evening, when Newton returns, Adesua welcomed him. Please freshen up and come downstairs to eat. Newton said, I have already eaten outside. Adesua replied, But I already prepared a meal for you. Newton said, Please stop acting like my wife. I only marry you to send photos to my parents so they will stop bothering me about getting married. Adesua replied, So you brought me here just for photos? Newton replied, Yes, that is why I asked you to sleep in my room yesterday. I video called them to make them believe. Adesua responded, Can I go back to my village now? Newton said, No, my parents do not trust me. They will be calling from time to time. I need you to stay here and behave. Adesua replied, I cannot be a part of this. I have expectations as a married woman. Newton said, I told your relatives everything. That is why I paid so much for you to be here. Adesua answered, Did you marry me or buy me? Newton responded, I did both. Adesua said, I cannot stay at home all day. Please open a business for me so I can keep myself busy. Newton said, You do not need to work. I can take care of you. Just watch TV if you are bored. Adesua responded, Employ me in your office then. I can keep myself busy there. Newton said, You are uneducated. You cannot work in my office. I need to freshen up. We will talk later. Adesua felt upset. Newton was only using her to deceive his parents with their photos. In Newton's room, he said to Adesua, Please come closer. Let's take a selfie. My mom asked for one. Newton's mom immediately called on video chats. Adesua talked to her. Newton's mom asked for grandchildren. Adesua agreed before the call ended. Newton said to Adesua, Why did you agree to give her grandchildren? Adesua replied, You asked me to play along. What else should I have said? Newton said, You would have said no. I am not interested in a woman or children right now. If I want children, I will marry someone of my class. Adesua asked, So we will not have kids together. Newton said, I have already told you why you are here. Adesua said, I am sorry. I will go back downstairs. Let me know when you want to take a photo. Newton replied, Your hair is rough and your clothes look so old and ugly. Adesua responded, I will cut my hair tomorrow and get new clothes when I find a job. Adesua took her bags and went downstairs while Newton slept alone upstairs. The next day, Newton went to wake Adesua up. He gave her a lot of money to make herself look nice and get new clothes, not to cut her hair. Adesua took the money and kept it back in Newton's room after he left to work. She told herself, Newton leaves very early in the morning and comes late at night. I have my certificate here with me. Let me go look for work. Within that time range, he will not be aware that I am working. She did just that. She got a job at a shop where they sell electronics as a sales girl. That evening, when Newton returned from work, he was very hungry. He forgot to buy food on his way. He went inside the kitchen 
to check if Adesua prepare anything. He saw food. He hide in the kitchen and ate the food. Wow, this food is sweet. I do not know she can cook like this. If she can cook like this, I will be eating at home. But she will start acting like my wife. I do not want that. He sneaks out of the kitchen so Adesua would not notice him. He went to his room. Then he saw the money he gave to Adesua in the morning. He called out to her. She ran upstairs. Newton said, Why is this money here? And why are you still like this? Adesua responded, I do not need any money from you. You do not regard me as your wife. I also do not regard you as my husband. No need to look good for anyone. Newton said, I want you to look good because I always send your photos to my parents and they complain about your dressing. Adesua respond, Give me the money back. I will buy them tomorrow and also make my hair, but I will pay you the money later in future. Newton respond, Whatever. I want to see a difference in you when I return from work tomorrow. Adesua said, All right, can I leave now? Your choice, if you wish, you can sleep here or go to your room. Adesua left, went to her room to sleep. In the morning, immediately Newton left for work. Adesua also left for her working place. She made sure. She closed before Newton returned back home. She closed on time, went to make her hair, and also got beautiful clothes. When Newton returned from work, Newton noticed he forgot his keys. He raised the doorbell. Then Adesua went to open for him. He was just standing, speechless, looking at Adesua. Adesua said to him, Please come inside. You have been standing here. Over three minutes now. Newton respond, Wow, nice shape. You look so beautiful. Are you Adesua or someone else? She replied, Please come in. I want to go inside. I am busy watching a movie. Newton entered the house looking at Adesua like he never saw her before. Newton said, Please, Adesua, serve food for me. I am hungry. She replied, when did you start asking for food? There is no food. You do not eat my food, so I did not cook. Newton said, Then make something for me. I want to freshen up. Adesua replied, All right. I will make something for you. She went and made urgent noodles for Newton to eat that night. Newton ate the food, but he was just admiring Adesua. I never knew this girl is this hot. Those big guns we are covering her shapes. Where well, my focus should be money, not women. He reminded himself, but her beautiful face has captured my thoughts. Newton said, when you are done watching your movie, come and pass the night in our room. Sorry, I cannot. I prefer sleeping over here. Newton responded. You have no choice. I am your husband and my word is final. She replied, Are you okay? Today you ate my food and you are reminding me that you are my husband. Newton said, I am waiting for you in the bedroom when you are done. And she said, I am not coming. Newton angrily went to turn off the TV, went to her room and took her bags and dragged her upstairs to continue watching the movie in their room. He said, henceforth, do not move out of this room again. This is our room. Husband and wife should stay in one room. Adesua respond, I do not know what is happening to you this night. Newton said to her, in fact, turn off the TV and sleep close to your husband. Newton forced Adesua to sleep. He held her close to himself, and they both slept in each other's arms. The next morning, Newton left for work. Adesua also went for work. Over there, two of them 
we are just thinking. Newton wonders what is wrong with him. He only needed a girl who will take a picture with him so he can use it to continue deceiving his parents. But he is seeing himself drawn to Adesua, which is not part of his plan. I need to focus and concentrate on my business than thinking of one illiterate girl in my house. Adesua, on the other hand, wonders what came over Newton yesterday. He is not acting like a husband. I hope I am safe. Newton closed from work very early that day because he was not concentrating at work. He is just thinking of Adesua. When he got home, he did not find Adesua at home. Maybe she went to get something in the neighborhood. It's been three hours since Newton returned back from work. And Adesua is not back. Newton is beginning to get furious. He is restless. He came outside his compound, not knowing where to go look for Adesua. A flashing car dropped Adesua in the other side of the road. Newton witnessed it and angrily went inside, shaking his leg, waiting for Adesua. Adesua entered the house. She became scared after seeing Newton shaking his legs. Newton asked, where are you coming from? And she replied, I went out to get something. Newton said, show me the things you went to get. Adesua responded, I ate them on the road. I never knew you are not just a liar, but also a prostitute. Adesua replied, why calling me names? Newton said, have some shame. You are a married woman, my wife, yet another man is dropping you in front of our home. She responded, oh, that person gave me a lift. Newton said, wow, you are expecting me to believe that. You are just a cheap prostitute. Adesua said, so, yes, I am a prostitute. What is your business with it? This is not a marriage. I am here for a photo, right? So I can do what I want. It's my body after all. Newton said, shut up your mouth. It is not only your body, but mine. I paid your bride price. You are my wife, my property. I own you. Adesua replied, why getting so furious? You told me when you want children, you will get married to a classic gay. Please let me enjoy myself and have fun. Newton said, henceforth, you will not go out to get anything. You will only go out to get something when I follow you. I do not trust you anymore. Adesua respond, why acting overprotective? Where well, I am not a prostitute and I will never be one. It's just a lift. I got and please do not ever call me such names it is an insult to my existence newton said let me believe you just today let this not repeat himself ever again go and make food for us henceforth you will be making my breakfast my lunch and dinner i will not eat outside anymore adesua said i can do that it's not a problem adesua went to make food for both of them. She served Newton his own, but he refused eating alone. Both of them ate together and cuddled themselves in bed. It's been a month. Newton always come home in the afternoon and does not find Adesua at home. He kept everything to himself and decided he would devote a day to trace her so he can catch her red-handed. The next morning, Newton left the house and waited in his car outside. Adesua came out and entered a taxi. Newton followed the taxi to know where she is always going every day. The taxi stopped. Adesua came out and entered a shop. Newton stopped, came down and went to the shop. He saw Adesua walking as he says gay. He stood in the corner washing her before he left. On his way home, he said to himself, I was thinking she is cheating on me, but she is just walking. I am happy I did not confront her.
He went back home to rest. He was feeling very tired from stressing his head, thinking Adesua was cheating on him. Now he is at peace. Adesua returned from work that evening. She saw Newton car outside. She said to herself, I am in trouble. She went to their bedroom to drop a bag. Newton said, Where are you coming from? Please do not tell me you went to get something because I have been here since morning, but you were not around. Adesua laughed. Newton said, I have a headache. I came home for my wife to take care of me, but you were not at home. Please tell me where you went to. Adesua said, Are you still having a headache? Let me get you medicine. Newton responded, I am fine now. I already took medicine. Please do not change the topic. Where are you coming from? Please be truthful. Adesua replied, I am sorry, but you will not be happy if I tell you. Newton said, If you do not tell me the truth, I will leave this house and never return. Please do not say so. Do not think I am following men. I am just working to have my own money. If I stay at home, my certificate will be useless. Newton responded, What certificate? Is that why my wife will work as a sales girl? Adesua replied, I am a graduate and why always calling me your wife like you mean it? How did you know I was working as a sales girl? Newton shifted closer to her, head her cheeks. You are my wife. I know at first it's all about the photos and video calls to deceive my parents, but it's more than that now. I am in love with you, Adesua. I do not know when and how this happened, but I see myself drawn to you always. If you want to work, I will not stop you, but you need to work in my office, our office. Adesua respond, I really do not know what to say. I am surprised with what you are saying. Newton said, Freshen up. I want to take you out. Let's go and have fun. But she said, Not today, please. I am really tired. Maybe next time. Newton replied, Tomorrow then. Go freshen up so you can rest. Why in the bedroom? Adesua is just smiling. Newton just only fell in love with me now. Why I was in love with him for long ago. He will never find out I love him. Let me stress him a little. For my uncles and aunties who sold me here to suffer, I feel pity for them. They only sold me from hell to heaven. The next day, Newton took Adesua out to get her good clothes. Shoe, wigs, and bags. Adesua is very happy with the attention she is getting from her husband. Later that evening, both of them went out. Newton knelt down in front of her, proposed with a ring. The mall is full of people. Newton said, Adesua, will you marry me? And she laughed. No, we are already married. Newton replied, Sorry, will you be my love? Will you love and cherish me as your husband? Again, she laughed. You only know about business. This is not how to propose. Newton said, I am sorry. I am in love with you. Are you also in love with me? Adesua keep on laughing. Stand up. Adesua pick him up and hug him. She said, let's go home. I am tired of laughing and I am also tired from the too much shopping we did. Newton said, okay, but there are so many people looking at us. Take the ring at least. Adesua stretched her finger for Newton to put the ring in it. And he said, thank you so much. Let's go home. Everyone around clapped for them. When they got home, Newton said, you almost disgrace me at the mall tonight. Adesua laughed. Please do not remind me of your boring proposal. What will you eat so I can prepare it for you? I am okay with the ice cream I took at the mall. Newton said, I do not want to eat anything. I am angry with you. 
Newton angrily went upstairs. Adesuwa followed him. Why are you angry? Can't I joke with you? Newton said, leave me alone. I want to sleep. Adesuwa said, good night. I am going to sleep in my room downstairs. Newton replied, good night. Do not talk to me tomorrow either. Adesuwa laughed. My darling cute husband is just angry tonight. Good night. I love you. Newton turned and sat down. What did you just say? Please repeat it again. Adesua replied, I thought you were sleeping. You are just acting funny tonight. Please repeat it again. Adesua responded, I love you, my darling cute husband. Newton was so happy. Hearing this from Adesua, he hugged her and Adesua kissed his forehead. They both slept together peacefully that night. The next day, Newton took her to his company. Adesua said, Wow, this place looks magnificent. Do you work here or do you own it? Newton laughed. We own it. And from tomorrow, you will be working here as my employee, but I will not pay you a dime. Adesua responded, I would still prefer to work without a dime than be bored at home. I will be seeing your cute face all throughout the day. Newton replied, You will be working here while I will be in the other side. So we can concentrate or you stay at home. It's fine by me, Adesua replied. After showing Adesua around the company, they both went home. While at home, Newton's mother called on video call. She said, I am very angry with both of you. Newton responded, Mom, what have we done? She said, You do not want to give me grandchildren. Give the phone to your wife. Adesua replied, Good evening, ma. When are you coming back? Newton's mother said, I am not coming back till I see a photo of my grandchild. Why have you not given me a grandchild? Adesua replied, It's your son. He is not ready for a baby yet. He refused to touch me. Newton's mom said, Give him the phone. I want to see his face. Newton denied, It's not true. I am ready for children. His mother said, I do not know what you and your wife are saying. I give you guys one year. I want a grandchild. I and your dad will be coming in a year time. And we want to carry our grandchild. Adesua replied, Mom, consider it done. Good night. After they finished talking to Newton's mother, they ended the call. Newton said, Why did you tell my mom I refuse to touch you? Why did you promise her a child within one year? Adesua replied, Did you touch me before? Or were you expecting me to initiate romance? I was expecting you to touch me all this while, but you always keep my expectations. Newton responded, If you wanted it, why did you not tell me? I do not want to do anything to hurt you. That is why I am taking things easy. Adesua said, Another unromantic sentence. She laughed. Newton replied, Come here. When I start, you will get tired. You will beg me to stop. Adesua replied, Dream on. Newton came closer to his wife that night and they both were intimate for the first time. Adesua and Newton took their company to a new height, surpassing others in their industry. They not only expanded their business but also established branches in different locations. They returned to Adesua's village to reclaim her parents' properties, which had been sold by her relatives. Upon seeing Adesua, her relatives were surprised by her radiant beauty. They had expected her to suffer in Newton's care, but their assumptions were proven wrong. Despite their pleas for forgiveness, Adesua ignored her uncles and aunties due to the hardship they had caused her. Newton also set up part of his business in Adesua's village 
naming it after her parents. Adesua later discovered she was pregnant and gave birth to a son resembling his father. When Newton's family returned after a long absence, they were delighted to meet their grandchild. Adesua's uncles and aunties had hoped to ruin her by forcing her into an unwanted marriage. But it ultimately worked out in her favor. Newton and his family live happily ever after. Thanks guys for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like, share and drop your comment below. And do not forget to tell us the country you are watching from. Thanks guys, we love you all.